detailed lesson plan in Science 11, Earth's Internal Structure. Everybody, settle down. Good day, class. How was your day? That's good to hear. Um, please stand up and let us ask the guidance of our Lord. Mr. Validor, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, thank you. Good morning, class. Um, before you take your seats, please pick up the pieces of papers and throw it to the trash cans. Then, I your chairs properly, please. Okay. Say present once your name is called. Balduzer Ray. Validar Gino. Merida Chris Jane. Pasino, J Pasino Jessica. And Zamora Angel. Okay, very good. Everyone is present and I hope everyone is also mentally present. What was our lesson yesterday? What are the subsystems? Anyone? Very good. And what is it all about? Okay, excellent. Uh, anyway, how will you hear that his or her breakfast is in boiled egg? Uh, okay. So, how can you tell me the common components of an egg? Okay, <laughs> excellent. An egg yolk is to provide nutrients to the developing cheek and the most bottom layer of the egg. The egg white is the upper part of the egg yolk and the egg shell is the thing that protects the whole egg. Okay? Today we're going to discuss about the earth's internal structure. So I have here an example. This is the earth's internal structure model. Okay? This is just a model that is cut. So as you can see, there are different colors here. That is considered as the earth's layers okay so in your previous years do you still remember about this okay nice so consider this as a uh, no consider this discussion as a review then what are those layers okay very good our earth has different layers which is composed of crust mantle and the core which our core is good i know which are core are separated into two, the inner core and the outer core. Just like our example earlier, the egg has also composed of different layers, the egg shell, egg white, and the egg yolk. So, so perfect katong kwan no, to ang kanang example. So, for today, I want you to count one, two, three. Starting here in front, then up to back. Start. So everybody settle down. All number one will set here. All number two will set here, and all number three will set there, at the center, at the back side. Back. Okay. Make a circle and wait for my instruction. Students, eyes here. Group one will discuss about core. Group 2 will be mantle, and group 3 will be crust. Okay, I will give you 5 minutes to discuss about your topic. And then, I will be the one who decide who will report in your group, so better cooperate with your group mates. Then, you can research it in Google, anyway. But first, send me your group members in one fourth sheet of paper. Okay, thank you. You can start now. Time's up. Mr. Validor, please report what had discussed in group 1. Well done, Mr. Validor. Group 2, Miss Pasino, please lead to the front. Okay, we'll inform group 2. Group 3, Miss Marida, you cannot take the front. Okay, great work. Job well done, everyone. You discuss it with excellency. Mm -hmm. All of you get a perfect score in this activity. Congratulations. So, so far you had your ideas about the Earth's internal structure. So, I will discuss it also so that our lesson will be more informative. Earth's internal structure. 
Okay, welcome to the anatomy of Earth. <laughs> so let's start with how was the Earth layers were discovered? Okay, the layers were deduced by Sir Isaac Newton last 1700s to Eng Lemon last 1937. They said that Earth layers has three main layers, okay, which is the crust mantle and the core okay each layer is defined by composition each layer has physical variations due to temperature and pressure kung yun sa pagkahibalo nga na di ay kuan sa unsang pamaagi nga nakabalo sila nga na di ay mga na di ay earth layers na di layers ng atong earth so Scientists use waves to study the different layers of the Earth. Usually, they use seismic waves, which is generated by earthquakes or nuclear test explosions. The seismic waves are bent, sped up, or slowed down, or even reflected when they pass through the Earth's layer. Let's start with the crust, the first layer of the Earth which is also the outermost shell of a terrestrial planet. Kung sa itlog pa, muna siya ang egg shell. Okay. The crust is the thinnest layer of the Earth. It has the average thickness of 18 miles or 30 kilometers below land, 6 miles or 10 kilometers below the oceans. The crust is the layer that makes up the Earth's surface and lies at the top of the harder layer called mantle. The crust is separated into two, the continental and the, the continental and the oceanic crust. The continental crust is forms one third of the Earth's surface, which is the land or the continents. And the remaining are composed of waters or the oceanic crust. The crust is made up of solid rocks and minerals. Okay. Mauna niya ito ang crust. This one. Dari. Mauna siya ang sa crust diha na nagpuyo. Okay? Mauna siya ang outermost diha na nagpuyo. Mauna mm -hmm. siya ang simple kayo nga de definition sa crust. The place where we live. Okay? Next, let's discuss about the mantle. The layer below the earth's crust and the largest and the thickest layer of the earth which is composed of 2,900 kilometers. So, grabe kasi kada ko, no? Then, the mantle itself can be broken up into separate layers, the upper and the lower mantle. So, dara nga to ang upper mantle, as you can see, di ba? Para itong upper mantle and the lower mantle. The upper mantle begins beneath the crust at the Mohorovisic, the skin twin miti, and makes up the asthenosphere and parts of the lithosphere. Okay, the mantle reaches all the way just above the outer core and the Gothenburg discontinuity, where our mantle is composed of iron, magnesium, and silicon. But the mantle is more dense than the crust. Okay, so let's discuss about upper mantle. Below the crust, the upper mantle with the uppermost portion referred to as a stenosphere. The upper mantle is a liquid rock and very hot. The upper mantle actually removes large areas of the crust called tectonic plates. Very slow. When tectonic plates move, they can form volcanoes, mountains, or earthquakes. Okay. So that's all about the upper mantle. Next. Okay, lower mantle. The lower mantle is the man is the liquid portion of the mantle ranging from 400 miles below the surface to about 1,800 miles. Then, the lower mantle is incredibly large and takes up the most volume of the earth. And being deep inside, inside the earth, the temperature and pressure of the lower mantle is extremely high. The temperature can soar over 7,000 Fahrenheit at the bottom of the edge of the lower mantle near the core. Pressure in the lower mantle is a maximum of 1.3 million times the, of the surface.
creating minerals we normally would not see in the crust. So what is lithosphere? Siguro to gyo yo about lithosphere no. So here it is. Lithosphere is comes from the Greek word lithos which means rocky or stones. Lithosphere is primarily the rock part of covering the whole earth's surface. It is the rigid surface shell that includes upper mantle and the crust where the interaction of other geospheres happen. And the term lithosphere was coined by Joseph Barrell last 1914. The one who studied the first motion of lithosphere over molten over a molten layer, for example, is the asthenosphere. So the ara ato ang koan, ang ato ang lithosphere. Wait, ha? The ara ato ang lithosphere. Munisha. Munya ato ang lithosphere. Kaya mo munisha ang ato ang oceanic crust, ang ato ang continental crust, wherein Kaning ang ato ang gipuyan, kaning gitumba na itong mga yuta. Okay? Muna siya ang ato ang, muna siya ba, gitipatungan sa ato ang crust. Okay? Next is, okay, next is the stenosphere. This stenosphere is a ductile part of the earth below the lithosphere, uh, including the upper mantle. The stenosphere is about 180, 180 km thick. The asthenosphere derives from the Greek word asthenis, which means weak, because its strength is much lower than, than the overlying lithosphere. Okay? The asthenosphere includes the portion, the portion of the mantle with temperatures above 2,372 Fahrenheit. The deep of the top of the asthenosphere um, ranges from few miles near mid-ocean ridges to 62 to 93 miles or 100 to 150 kilometers beneath the old oceanic crust or far from removed from the mid-ocean ridges and 155 to 186 miles or 250 to 300 kilometers beneath the continental cores or cratons. So, maunin siya ang atuang atuang asthenosphere. So, babaw Ubus na yun yun siya sa ato ang lithosphere. Kaya ang ato ang lithosphere, mo ni siya. Mo ni siya ang magkuhan pro provide sa mga, mo ni yung rason, di ba, sa mga kuhan, mga, na yung mga buntod, ang ato ang lugar, na mga buntod, na yung mga bulkan, mag-cause mag og linog. Tugon na siya sa ato ang lithosphere. Okay. Then, mo ni siya, ang ubus na ang asthenosphere. So, understood? Okay, students. Very good. Last one is the core, which is very hot, very dense center of our planet. So, kung sa itong example ganina, muna siya ang egg yolk. Okay. As I said earlier, ang atuang core was separated into two. The outer core and the inner core. Which is, the outer core is the third layer of the earth. Ganun consider mo siya as third, nga tulurong kakabok ang layers of the earth. Three main layers lang man ang kwaan, layers of the earth, which is the crust, mantle, and the core. So, ang outer core, consider as third layer, tungod kay ang core, isa lang mo gina siya. Isa rin na siya. Muna gina siyang inner core o outer core. Pero, na-separated na separate lang yun ang core into two. Muna consider na siya as the third layer of the earth. The outer core is liquid layer of the earth. That is made up of iron and nickel, and very dense layer. Um, the outer core is responsible for Earth's magnetic field. Ganun man. Okay. As the Earth spins around its axis, the iron inside the liquid or the outer core moves around. Then, the movement causes powerful electric currents that develop in the liquid and uh, iron itself. Mm. Through these powerful currents will cause lines of invisible force to stretch around the Earth and thousands of miles into space, creating magnetic field that protects the Earth from harmful particles from the Sun. Okay, moto siyang rason nga nung na responsible ang outer core for Earth's magnetic field. Okay, the next one is the inner core. 
the inner core is solid or metallic ball. Kaya nga naman. Because the weight put by the other layers. Lungod sa kabugaton. Di ba? Kabugaton na itong tulo. The crust, mantle, and the outer core. Tungod ato mo na siyang na solid siya. Where our inner core is made up of iron. So, ang outer core, kung ang outer core is made up of iron and nickel, ang ato ang inner core is made up of iron itself. Then, it has a great temperature and pressure so that the metals are squeezed. So, isa po sa rason na nahimong solid ng inner core because of the temperature and pressure mong nabuo. Maong nabuo ang inner core nga na solid siya. So, that's all for my presentation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, students, I hope you learn a lot about the presentation. Mm, get one half sheet of paper and draw and label the layers of dirt. And on the side of your paper, please put a brief definition of each layer. Please pass your papers forward. Okay, thank you. Um, students, do remember that our layers is composed of three main layers which is the crust, mantle, and the core. And our core is separated into two, the inner core and the outer core. Um, before we'll end this discussion, I, I want to divide this class into two. Okay, start counting from one to one to. Okay, start from you. Okay, since everyone has a group, this is for your midterm project. Okay? Um... Each group will made, make or create a model of Earth's internal structure. So, since group woman mo, I want you to make an effort or something koan. Then, kung magasta man galing mo, daghan man sad mo, di, gamay gamay ra na siya. Okay. Then, for your assignment, please do research in advance about minerals and rocks. Which should be our topic in the next meeting, okay? Goodbye class. Thank you.